What's up guys, Zagmaster here, just showing you how to create a Minecraft server. It's not too difficult, it's easier than like most for like port forwarding and all that stuff. It's pretty easy. Okay, well the first thing you want to do to start is go to the link in the description for a pre-made folder. It should bring you to this, and just download the zip file. Wait for it to download. Okay, just drag it onto your desktop, unzipify it, take that file, just to look at it, you don't have to do this, I'm just showing you what it is. This is pretty much everything you're going to be needing for the server, so it's pretty simple. Okay, well, the next thing you want to do is, if you don't already have it, you need to download Hamachi. I'm not a big fan of Hamachi, but still it works. Okay, um... So, go to the link in the description for Hamachi, and it should bring you to this page, and download the unmanaged version. Don't get the managed version, and don't mess with this download Windows version, because this we're using a Mac version to make a server. Okay. Agree to the conditions and download it. I'm not going to, because I just already have it. Okay. So, once you go through all this stuff of filling out the stuff, open it up, and you should have it like this these won't be here because yeah, it'll be blank and then go to the top left corner and there should be network and um, create new network and um, okay network ID come up with anything just whatever you want just remember it's caps sensitive so you need to be aware of that so if you have caps remember to do caps so uh, that's a pretty retarded name, but whatever. Um, okay. Okay. So, once you have that, you can just... Okay, well, wait. You can change the password by going to set access. You don't have to do this, but it's just something that's good to know. You can change the password whenever you want. You can turn off the password and do whatever on here. Okay, well... Okay, so the next thing you want to do is go to that file we downloaded, this, and you need to click on this read read this first file. If you do not know much about creating servers, I really recommend reading this because it really helps knowing what to do. Um, but after reading this, if you still don't understand it, then just ask me in a comment below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, but if you are good with computers, then just click on the server uh, file and go under server properties, right click on it, and go to open with. And if text, if you don't have text edit right here, just go to other, and then um, search for it. Okay, try and find it. Okay, I have it right here. But if you do not have text edit on your computer, pretty much anything that will work if it just can edit text. Um, like my, uh, Microsoft Word can do it too. But if you don't have anything like that, just go download something. It's not a big deal. Okay, right here where it says put your IP here, you just want to get rid of that. Pull this over. Pull this window up so you can see. Now don't pause and start typing in your password typing in that yet do not type in this leave that alone just this stuff before the dash okay so first we're gonna find the uh, enter it in eight okay so you have that entered and just file save That'll save it onto the this file. Leave that alone for now. Now, do not start command yet because we still have to do some stuff with terminal. Okay, now close that. Now, however you get to terminal, like do, or but if you don't know how, just go to the search and search terminal. You should find it pretty easily, and it should look like this. Okay, and what you need to enter on terminal is um c h m o d a plus x 
this will be in the description and it you can do not copy paste it from the description you have to type it out and do it exactly like it is here and yeah as I said it will be in the description and don't copy paste it okay and then once you have that go back to your file pull this over and take the start command file and place it right in there with it and press enter okay now just X out of that all you need to do is just start open up now wait for this it might take a little bit okay now that you have this open I'll just let this load for a little bit okay now if you wanna stop the server I'll obviously all you do is just type stop right here it's pretty simple and um, this will once this is done okay see it's done okay now if you are confused on what to do just type help and that should mm, yeah see okay now this tells you some stuff you can do like kick a player ban a player pardon a player and stuff like that that's pretty simple and you just leave these two things running don't X out of them because that will shut down the server and another way you can stop the server is just by typing stop obviously in this just typing stop okay um one thing if you want to change the world notice how there's more stuff in this file now if you want to change the world like you don't like your world that you have um just take this oh sorry take the world file and just throw it away and then next time you get on but make sure the the server is off when you throw it away next time you get on the server it will generate a new world for you and um this op ops this is basically where you can op someone which is where like yeah um you just type in their name if you have any questions about this just comment and ask okay you just enter in you know whatever their name is and just go down with their names and then they'll all be OP and then same with the band list like whoever's banned on your server and that's pretty much oh and another thing if you want people to join your server you have to put them on your white list like for them to be able to get on like I want you know stuff well to get on mine so I have his name right here so yeah that's the only way they can get on your server if they're not on there then they can't get on so just make sure to have them on there and if you ask me a question about that I will just refer you back to this okay and make sure you're OP when you get on because you will not be able to break blocks by the spawn point if you're not OP but if you just move away from the spawn point then you'll be fine and I will show you by getting on Minecraft one second. And your computer might run a little slow with Minecraft and the server running at the same time, so just be patient with that. Here we go. Just go to multiplayer. If you don't know how to do this, then I'm just going to explain it for you. <sighs> okay, now just go to direct contact direct contact okay and all you need to do is um enter in your server IP the one that will be right up here you just need to enter that in to join and I will have another video to show you how to join someone else's server and um, that is it is not the same to join and create there are two different things so and this probably isn't going to load so yeah if you don't like your world then just discard the world file and okay wait Just one second. 
should be done soon. Okay. Now, I'm in the world. And obviously, if you don't like this world, you can always just discard the world file. And seeing now that I am OP, you can uh, type stuff like, you know, I don't know, game mode, Zach, Mr. 15, 1, and that didn't work, but, okay, yeah, whatever, you can do whatever, so, any questions or comments, leave in the, uh, just comment below, and subscribe, thanks for watching.